Okay, we're gonna do a video walk around of the Lindy Motor Home. Um, because pictures are tough to do justice. One of the things you tend to look for is people tend to crunch them against branches. You have none of that. Um, looks like you got some resealing on the top of the windshield here. Um, but no rust. Um, no visible dents anywhere. No real ugliness. And I'm going to try and be efficient with this. You can always slow it down and look at it again. It's got what? A water heater, propane. Um, the water tank is out. Now I'll show you that on the other side. But there, we have one, and I also have a the one that's over there is like a 20, and I have about a 100 on my Bayliner that I'll throw in with the deal if you want. It's the electrical system. It's 110 and 12 volt diesel fuel. Now, there's uh, there's no house battery in there right now, so it's hard to show anything. That also starts the gen set, which um, it's kind of a bummer that I can't start that for you. But you got uh, straight... Uh, straight bumper. Might as well climb up on the roof as long as we're at it because you'd like to look at that. As you can see, um, no major surgery up here. It's got a roof air. And I believe that might be a heater too. Looks like it's been regooped on the corner, the edges, these kinds of things, which is good. Doesn't hurt to do that every once in a while. It's a uh, 1984, is it? So, yeah. It's an Arizona vehicle. Apparently an old lady lived in it. And uh, didn't drive it, so it's been sitting around. That's the tank I was talking about. That's a that's probably, I would say, a 25 or a 30. But uh, that probably says on there. 19 gallons. Okay. That answers the question. But we're going to be very efficient here. That's a Kohler propane generator. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that also runs on gas. I wouldn't see why not. Most propane units do. So, um, again, on the outside, we'll go one more look. You can see you don't have any dents or rust or anything. No broken glass anywhere. It's got the custom sun bleached carpet, which is due for replacement. We'll start with a great big cabinet here, closet that it's almost big enough to walk in. Rear bathroom with a bathtub, which if you're a midget, I guess you can sit in it. A full-size person could sit in that. That's actually not that bad, but uh, nice clean little good size bathroom. Uh, microwave, triple stove, oven. The grills are in the sink there right there. Uh, this refrigerator has apparently never been used. Um, it's a, it's a two-way gas or electric. I don't think it's 12 volt also. I think it's only gas or electric. But decent sized freezer. You're gonna for ice cream. Which if you're like me, that's a selling point. Okay. Uh, that's where the furnace goes. There is no furnace. Now here's something else. It's kind of, it's open for customization. Um, it's kind of cool because you don't, uh, I don't know, it, you could call it a fixer upper, but I would call it ready to build into whatever you want if you got somebody with, uh, um, you know, like the people that just left have a whole bunch of dogs, big dogs, and they wanted to put a big bed there for the dogs. Uh, in this case, Steve's wife is disabled, and we were going to build a bed here, coming out to about here, that could be walked around. And then leave the passenger seat out so he could drive. She could ride right there, have the great big windows here, you know, and everything. There's uh this is the center console thingy for the engine cover, which I left off so that I could show the engine. But uh anyway, like I said, it's open to some interpretation and some um it's got it reads sixty-four thousand miles tilt wheel. It's a diesel, 
And I got a potential buyer walking up here right now, so I'm going to shut this off, but I'm going to start it up because he has no listen to it. There you go. Listen to the sound of music. How you doing? I'm Greg. I'm shooting the video tape here real quick. I'm about one more second from finish. And Cruiser's saying goodbye. So thank you. Bye.